word for you today. It's Wednesday, October the 16th. A scripture passage is Ecclesiastes 11.4. It says, whoever watches the wind will not plant. Whoever looks at the clouds will not reap. Title of our lesson is Trust God and Take Action. Making decisions can be difficult. For some people, they're more difficult than others. Other people don't seem to have any problem making decisions. But these verses, this verse here, gives us a lot of wisdom for making decisions. It tells us that if we wait for the perfect situation, we're probably not going to make a decision. For the perfect circumstances, we're probably not going to, not going to happen. He uses uh, an agricultural illustration. It says, whoever watches the wind will not plant. In other words, if it's a windy day, it's going to blow the seeds around and everything. And, no, I'm not going to do it because it's too windy. And the next day, well, it's still a little windy. And the next day, oh, it's windy. Whoever looks at the clouds will not reap. Well, I don't want to go out and start harvesting because it might rain. And if it rains, it would get bogged down and mess things up. And, and always looking for the perfect day to do something. You know, I've got some guys that love to fish. You know when they said some of their best fishing days were? It was when ice was forming on the lines of their fishing lines. I'm not sure that I want to pay the price to do that. I like a nice mid 70s day where it's sunny, the wind is still. Sometimes fish don't bite so well during that time. Sometimes it's it's a difficult time. We have to wait for exactly situations to be right. Oftentimes we won't we won't do anything. So how do we know when to act on a decision? We don't wait for the circumstances to be perfect, but how do we know when to act? Well, first of all, pray about it. Ask God to help you in making the decision. You can even ask him to give you a sign, but don't necessarily wait on that sign. Ask God, pray about it. Second thing is gather information. Do the work. Check out your options. What God gave you a brain. We need to use it. Pray about it. Gather information. Look around. God may be speaking to you even right now. Um, Gideon was afraid to lead his men into battle. God sent him down into the enemy camp to creep in and eavesdrop on them. As he did, he stopped at this one place and one of them was talking about a dream he had the other night. And he said, could, could this be anything other than Gideon? And, and Gideon will be successful in his, his endeavors. And, and Gideon went back. He was encouraged. Yes. We can do this because of what he heard there. Uh, I knew of a man who he was he's praying about whether to sell his cattle or not. And uh, he didn't have the hay. It's God just show us what we need to do. And you know what happened? Next day he woke up and somebody had brought some hay for his cattle. Was that an answer to a prayer? I think so. I think so. He didn't hear from God, but that bale of hay spoke a lot, didn't it? Pray about it. Gather information. Look around. See what's happening. And then you have to come to a decision where you make a decision. Make a decision and move forward. If it's the right decision, it'll be clear. You can rejoice in that. If things don't work out, then you may have another decision to make. But sometimes we don't make a decision. We make a decision by not making a decision. And, and then nothing nothing can happen. We're all going to make some mistakes. Okay, then we have another decision to make. And then finally, trust God. Realize that there's no decision bigger than God. Uh, he can give you the, the wisdom to know what to do, but you know what? You still have to step forward and make a decision. Don't be afraid to make a decision. Will you make some wrong decisions? Yes, you will. We all do. It's not the end of the world. We pick up and we go from there. But at least we made a decision. Former President Ronald Reagan, when he was younger, he had an aunt that took him to a, uh, a cobbler as a shoe repair guy and uh, for uh, sent him to, there to measure his feet and make a new pair of shoes for him. So the man asked the Ronald Reagan, who was very young at the time, he says, do you want square toes or round toes? Ronald Reagan said, I, I, I don't know. He says, okay. So 
a few days later, he asked Ronald Reagan again, do you want square toes or round toes? And I went, well, I'm not sure. And then one final time he asked him, he says, do you want square toes or round toes? He said, I, I just, I, I'm not sure. I, I don't know which I want. And the guy says, tell you what, come back next week and your shoes will be ready. So the next week, Ronald Reagan goes back to the shoe guy and there are his new shoes. One of them is round toed, the other one's square toed. How do you think that looked? Man said, uh, this will teach you never to let people make decisions for you. Ronald Reagan says, I learned right then and there, if you don't make your own decisions, someone else will. Folks, God has given us a brain. He's given us the Holy Spirit to guide us. Is there a decision you're needing to make? Would you pray about it? Would you pray about it? Seek God's wisdom, gather information, and then sit down and make a decision. If it's wrong, okay, pick up and you go from there. If it's right, praise God. But make a decision. Have a good day.